So my role is a little bit unique. Um, so I'm in Stone with a missionary family and they are working the Bible translation into the local language of Temne. We love Hannah Brown. <laughs> she is Mary Poppins. I'm telling you, well, actually I can't imagine life without Hannah Brown because we moved here without Hannah Brown. <laughs> And Hannah Brown has completely changed our ministry. It's actually like so comforting to us that I can wake up and I know that my kids are taken care of. I know that they're safe. I, they're getting an incredible education. They're brilliant because of Hannah. And, <laughs> and I think... Um, and they love her. And they adore Hannah. For them to both be able to have their role working to get the Bible translated in Temne, they have four kids. And so I homeschool and nanny their four children. Um, during the days, so they're able to use their children are able to get a good education, and the parents are able to fulfill their role and their calling in Bible translation. Because of all of you guys' support, I can actually now in my life see this as like a long-term thing. Like you've opened up the doors to make this be still and be able to be home to let my ministry just continue with the Wagner family and also with the local children. And Hannah not only watches my children. She homeschools the older ones, she nannies the younger ones, but she also welcomes the kids from the community into our home and allows them to, to participate in life, to participate in learning, and, and that is so far above and beyond um, what we can do in our free time, which is what would require us to do if we wanted to interact with the kids. Again, I want to thank you all so much for all the ways you guys have all supported me. If anybody would like to partner with me in this coming term in Sierra Leone, I have a Facebook group called Nana Hannah in Africa and I post pictures and videos and just kind of the everyday life in Sierra Leone. Um, another way that's in more detail but comes less frequently is my newsletter. Um, that I'm able to write lots and send that to people just to be able to understand the different aspects of Sion as well. I just thank God every day for the, the investment that she makes on our family because there's no way we could do what we're doing. Uh, it would take us so many more years um, to be able to do what we can do in, in the days that we have um, because of her investment. Yeah, I mean, as Ruthie said, we're so grateful for Hannah. Uh, I'm also just incredibly grateful to those who feel called to support someone who's doing support work. Uh, it's some of the hardest support, ra support raising a person can do uh, in missions work is to, to be a support worker. Um, but some of you have just felt called to, uh, to support her and really, in that way, supporting us and supporting this project and, and really contributing to the work of uh, the Temne Bible Translation Project and Scripture Use here. And so, uh, for those of you who are called that way, we are so grateful uh, for what you've done.